But at one point, Nick gets bitten, and Judy has her face to save him. Um, and Bellwether makes an appearance. Yeah. It's, it's time for terrible pun number two. Yeah. Would that be a Nosferatu? Oh. Ooh. Ding. Something I've picked her on the bed is thinking, and a couple other people have as well, is thinking outside. Well, one trying to figure out is Zootopia a city state or a full country in its own, but also what other countries are there out there? Uh, like reptile bill. Yeah, I don't know about that. Uh, but uh, <laughs> I. He's like chicken. I've, uh, I've in a couple of my stories, I've alluded to other, you know, the equivalent of various Balkan states, for example. And so one of them is uh, a source of rabbit separatists. You know, the, their, their home country is basically a rabbit dominated population. And then uh, well, predators are seriously second class citizens. And so these terrorists come come to Zootopia, uh, if you've seen my art, the art show, they have the, I have the one sketch of Judy with a no rabbits symbol in the background behind her. Mm -hmm. That's what that is, is these uh, terror, basically terrorists come to Zootopia in order to create fear among the rabbits and animus among the rest of the population to have the rabbits separate themselves. And also undermine the general notion as a city where all the species can come together, and then various adventures and things ensue from that. Uh, and, and in that, I had to create, you know, the, at least men, you know, have mentioned that the, that there is this country where this kind of negativity is coming from, and then by ex and by extension, there's a third country which is neutral that some of these enemy agents are working out of and Judy goes in after them uh, and has an international, basically an international adventure. But anyway, so, yeah, but, but anyway, I'm just thinking, you know, thinking around the thoughts of different worlds, you know, like, you know, the rest, how the rest of the world. Uh, other people have done that in pet fiction, uh, like there's a guy that I've worked, done work with doing a, Zootopia, a World War Two Zootopia war. Oh, was that Soaxis? Yes, yes. And in that case, he's having Zootopia play the role of England. So it What's started that called uh, Wild Skies. Uh, uh, Red Tails and Wild Skies. Red Tails and Wild Skies. I read most of that. I really like that. Yeah, but in this case, it's a setting that uh, that. That the study starts with basically the Battle of Britain, except it's the Battle of Zootopia. The, pre the uh, predator, uh, the, the axis of this, in this type, are basically predator supremacists. And so they're, you know, yeah, the prey species are literally, all they're good for is labor or meat. So it's quite a, quite a nasty setting. And I love, I love the way Nick and Judy meet each other in that, uh, in that fanfic. Yeah. But anyway, but again, in this, but in this case, it has the world as pretty much as we know it, but all the labels have been changed to protect the the utopia and stuff like that, and uh, so there's going to eventually the uh, uh, the United States is now the United Balkan Territories, and there's other big listings for uh, the various other countries and regions of the world. But that's the influence of that. Then there's another guy who's doing some. Fun stuff, and uh, he's not he's not he's not changing any of the country names, but he's having some interesting alternate histories. Since it's starting back from the time of uh, Alexander the Great, uh, and uh, then going forward to you know to modern times, and then as an extra twist on the on the rabbit characters having the this particular ethnic group from the from uh, Asia Minor now have emigrated to Zootopia, but their native language is the language from uh, Watership Down. Mm -hmm. wow. a, a rabbit language yep. that's unique to them. And that's a fun little series as well. Yes, sir, you have a question? You have a comment? Yeah, I didn't see the movie. I have not. Yeah. 
yeah. new graphic novel. No, mm. there, I know there's the uh, there's a, a a movie book, which is kind of frustrating because it's 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 uh, it's not well reproed and it chunk it cuts out some, several chunks of the film. Like the apology under the bridge scene. Yeah, it's oh, no, he, he came out. Um, I actually have heard of those. Okay, I, that sounds familiar as well, but I haven't, I haven't physically seen them. That's one of the problems I'm finding. It's about the only way to get most uh, your Zootopia merch is to do it online. Uh, at least the, the local Disney store in the Seattle area, they had uh, one of the one of the little sets of miniature Zootopia figures, and that's the only thing they had in the whole store. I went to the Disney store in New York City, Manhattan. Big Disney store uh, about two months after the film opened in 2016. There was no Zootopia there at all. I got, I got. Well, that's it. I, I, I was being hyperbolic. Uh, but yeah, they had like the Mr. Big plushie, one or two other plushies, like a shirt, and that was it. Yeah. The, the, novel, the novelization or whatever, I got that at Barnes and Noble, but to get the art of Zootopia, I had to do it from Amazon. No stores. No stores did not have stores did not have it. You must have a fine local comic shop. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Is, did one of them feature a story about Nick going to a birthday party and having nothing to bring? Yes. I, I read that online. At first, I, at first, I thought it was a fan art, and then I was like, wait a minute, this is actually this was published as a Disney book. Yeah, I've seen, I've seen that in fact, but, yeah. And basically, if you're treating the mother, you know, the fact that you always see her from the neck. Does she sound like, womp, 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 womp? No. Or me, man. Someone else have to hang her. I was just saying, I was just saying, now that you know, I'm from New York City, and I see no Zootopia books anywhere. Yeah. And that's a good story. Yeah. Maybe some, maybe some blog. I've, oh, and as a somewhat aside, has there any consensus, or does everyone have their personal headcanon as to what uh, Nick's mother's name is? Some people are saying Mary, and for obvious reasons. Yeah. Some say Yeah, but I've heard a bunch of different. The father's supposed to be John, as I understand it. Yeah, that's. Utopia and all that. Yeah. Oh, speaking of provender references, this is something I don't think I've ever brought up in any of my previous panels. Uh, how many of you noticed that at Nick's graduation, who was standing next to him? A bear. A bear. Oh. A brown bear. A brown bear. Yep. That's got to be a little bit. Green shirt, green outfit for Robin Hood. Even if it was in the northern hemisphere. 